If you already have an e-bike with a lithium battery, then you must get a lot of questions, like how many cycles do you get out of a lithium battery, and what should you do with a lithium battery when it comes to cold temperatures, and also what percentage should you charge your battery up to? These questions are all about one, the most important question. How do you maintain a lithium battery? In this video, you'll get everything you should know about lithium battery maintenance. Actually, it is not hard for you guys to maintain batteries. Most electric bikes in the market now use lithium batteries instead of lead acid batteries, which need to be refilled with battery acid. Here, I'm gonna tell you some tips to maintain lithium batteries. Tip number one, never discharge a lithium battery. For some other sort of batteries, it may be recommended to fully discharge them for some specific reasons. But for a lithium one, you don't want to do that because it is unrecoverable and does harm to itself. Some lithium batteries are designed to let it be recharged after the sales voltage is below zero volt, but some are not. However, does that mean you can't ride until the battery dreams out? We all sometimes encounter emergencies that we are not able to charge our e-bikes right at once. Actually, the answer is no. Well, regularly there is a battery management system, also we call it BMS. It is kind of mysterious because most e-bike buyers never take a look at it. BMS is something that monitors the voltage of individual cells. When the battery voltage gets down to a certain point, the BMS will cut off the battery automatically in order to prevent potential damage. Therefore, when your e-bike display demonstrates that uh, your battery capacity runs down to 0%, it does not necessarily mean that your battery voltage is at zero. Instead, there is still a specific amount of voltage in the cells inside. But from the aspect of maintenance, it is still not recommended to drain your battery to 0%. Like I said before, it would be unrecoverable. Then we get to another question, how many cycles can you get? Before that, you need to understand what cycle is. Here I'm talking about cycle is when you ride with a 100% fully charged battery until the battery is cut off by the BMS inside. That is called a cycle. Here I'm not going to tell you about how to calculate your battery cycle, that is way too complicated. Usually, the number is between 800 and 1000, but of course, it could be as low as 500 due to the quality of the batteries. Tip number two, you don't have to charge your battery to 100% anytime. Most people tend to charge their batteries to 100% to get a longer range. Well, it is okay, I'm not here to tell you that you cannot do that or it might do harm to your battery, but if you want to extend the battery longevity, you can just charge less than 100%, like 80%. When you charge to 80%, there will be less burden on the internal components of the battery cells. They will stay longer and also get more cycles like 1000 or more. Some other studies suggest that it is better to charge to 70%, but who knows, like few of us know the exact theories. So if you wish to write freely, this point is not that important. But if you really want to maintain your battery perfectly, then it is still a good idea. Tip number three, don't leave a battery to drain out. Most batteries will slowly drain out when you don't use or charge them for weeks and months. And if you let a lithium battery drain out and leave it alone for a long time, chances are you may not be able to charge it anymore. Because the cells will gradually dip below the lowest safe voltage to charge, then the BMS will not allow you to charge it again. This is how they are designed, but some are not, that depends. So, if you plan to leave your e-bikes for weeks and months, make sure your battery's voltage is not way too low. 
when it is freezing cold and you don't feel like riding out, you know it is gonna be two or three months for you to stop riding out, just remember not to leave your batteries outside in the cold for a long time and it will be dying much more quicker than in the warmer condition. Okay, that's all the content and before the end I would like to thank MagCycle for its sponsorship and if you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe our channel and if you have any ideas you can just share them in the comment section and we'll see you next update.